Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a I'm getting tired of waiting on you, Natasha de No No. And I decided that I was going to make my own large retro palette. <laughs> it's inspired by the mini retro palette from Natasha Denona, which I absolutely love. I love this palette so much. And I keep begging and begging and begging to get a large version of like this color story. It just speaks to me on so many different levels. Well, I'm tired of waiting and not fully tired because um, if she decides to come out with one, I'm gonna buy it, I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> However, I thought that I would go ahead and just kind of play around and make my own. I've got stuff all over the top of my palette here, so let me get it out. I have created four, I think four. It could be five, but I think it's four including this one here. I did some that are a little bit more dramatic. I did some that are a little softer. I went with green. I went with pink. I went with gray. I went with several different themes for these eye looks. And I created a palette. Or I guess I created a collection of singles by Sydney Grace. Now this was hard for me to do because I felt like I had like the perfect arrangement and then <laughs> some shades weren't made anymore. And I was like, no! And so I was, I was really having to go through and make sure that the shades that I picked were in stock or would be restocked. I think there's only one shade in here that is a still part of their line and they're constantly restocking. So I felt comfortable putting it in here and I felt like it needed to be in here anyway. There's several other shades that would have made this just a little bit more perfect for me, but I really love what I came up with. Are you guys ready to see it? I kind of sneak peeked it on Instagram and then I got so many messages like please 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 make a video so I did this is what I have come up with and again these are Sydney Grace singles all of them and you can find all of them on her website I'm gonna be showing you guys swatches of each of these in case you don't want all of these it's basically I want to play with this type of color story and there's definitely some other textures I would like to incorporate if I were going to make this like my own thing, but I think this is a pretty good starting ground and you just can't beat, you can't beat Sydney Grace. Metallics, mattes, her formula, I mean they are up there with Pat McGrath, Natasha Denona, the best of the best. So yeah, this is what I've come up with. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys all of the swatches of all these beautiful shades and then we will get into some looks. Several looks. <laughs> Again, I just wanted to play. I guess that a part of me like that wants to create something and put shades together was really just kind of coming together along with really wanting a bigger version of this. And this is the outcome. So without further ado, let's get into swatches and I will tell you the names of all of these beauties. And in case you're wondering, this is just a Tarte Magnetic Palette. I love these because they come in all different kinds of uh, designs and textures. This one's leopard print and they have mirrors on the inside. I love that. Love that. All right, all right. Let's get into the swatches. For the first row, I have Green Mist, Peyton's Puppy, Cadet, Honeydew, and Bravo. Then for the second row, Green Mango, Blush, Honesty, Keep It Fun, and Fairy Tale. Third row, Aim High, Moon Landing, San Jose, Relax, and Turtle Bay. And then lastly, Vanguard, Golden Rose, Commission, Rover, and Beyond. I thought this was the perfect mix of greens and those pinky tones, some a little bit of grunge in here, and a little subtle hint of dark 
brownish purple. I don't know. I really like the way that this came together. I'm in, I'm in love with it. I'm actually leaving it in this palette because <laughs> I, I just want to keep it like this. I love it so much. If you decide to purchase anything, just know that I do have a discount code with them. I don't get any kickback. It's not a commission code for me. It's just a discount code for you guys. It's Puffin's Wife 15. I will make sure to leave that in the description box so that you can save some money off of your purchase if you should decide and even if it's not these like on the whole site anywho anywho I am rambling let's get into the looks using my made up <laughs> large retro inspired palette I'm going to start off with the bristles beauty eo2rl and the shade san jose I'm going to start applying that to the outer corner and then into the crease area. This is the shade that will be my transition. I'm going to start off lightly and then build it up just a little bit because I don't want the shade to be too dark, but I want to be able to see it whenever I lay down the other shade, just kind of peeking around the edge. Going directly into the crease this time, I did pick up some more product. Going to inner to outer corner, and I want to smoke it up more so on this outer edge. Next up, relax on a refer number 14. Again, starting on the outer edge of my lid. Just kind of placing a little bit of product there. Not too much because I will be going in with another shade, but I want to deepen up the crease with this and smoke out this outer corner a little bit. Making sure to go in circular motion so I get a really nice blend. And then when I go inward in the crease, I'm not going all the way to the very inner corner. I want most of the drama to be on the outer edge here. Same brush and Vanguard. This is just a little deeper and it has a little bit more of a green undertone to it. And I'm going to be stamping this on the outer half of the lid. I'll bring it into the crease slightly, but not like I did the last shade. Commission on a refer 21. I'm going to place this right on the center of the lid and then tapping over just slightly the last shade, bringing it up to my crease. I love Sydney Grace Metallics. Oh, so, so good. Same brush and the shade Green Mango. This is a brighter green, if you see. But I'm going to blend it into the last one. Placing it first on the very front portion and then lightly bringing it over commission. Sonia G Pencil Pro Vanguard. I am going to start lightly applying this to the lower lash line. I don't want this to get too dark, so I'm gonna kinda smudge it on and smudge it downward. I don't want to bring this all the way to the very, very inner corner because I'm going to put a little bit more of green mango there. I want to kind of buff this into my skin. Green Mist on a W23 from Isom. And I forgot, this is actually the shade that I'm going to be placing on the lower lash line. I got a bit much, so I'll just wipe that on my shirt, my little robe I actually have on. And then I'm going to buff this onto my skin right underneath the brow arch. I like the green hint to this, which you can have it really intense 
or lighter like this, we buff it in. I'm going to put it on more intensely on the lower lash line inner corner, kind of dragging it over a little bit. Add some more over here. Oh, I added too much. Wipe some of that away. Lastly, rougher number three in the shade Beyond. I am lightly going to apply this right on the outer half of the lid on right up against my lashes. I will go add on inner rim liner and mascara and that will complete the look and I'm going to move on to the next eye look. For the next look, I'm going to start off with Peyton's Puppy on a Bristles Beauty EO2 RL. I'm going to go directly into the crease with this shade. And just a reminder, my lids are, are primed, but they are not set. Go back and forth, windshield wiper motions, and then circular motions to blend it upward before adding some more pigment so that I can have it, uh, yeah, a little bit more pigmented. <laughs> but I always want to start in the crease and work up so that I don't end up with too much right around the edge. I don't want to start right here. I want to make sure I start lower and then blend it up for a diffused look. Making sure I get all the way out here and I have a lot of space right here between my brow and my actual crease area so I like to make sure I go just a little bit higher right now I'm just working on making sure everything is nice and diffused out before I go in with the next shade honesty on a refer 14 this shade is a bit deeper than the last one so I'm going directly into the crease once more I want to add a little bit more definition and I still want it to be that pink or peachy tone because I will be adding green into the crease as well, but I don't want to completely lose this peach. So what I'm doing is creating a slight gradient from the lighter to the deeper before I go in with the green. Another refer 14. Now I'm going to go in with the green Turtle Bay. I absolutely adore this shade of green. Oh, it's so pretty. And again, going directly into the crease, back and forth, being a little bit more precise this time, really hugging my like eye socket before blending upward, because I want the majority of this pigmentation to be directly into my crease. And with the excess, I will lightly start blending upward in circular motions. Be careful not to allow this shade to go up too high. Use very small circular motions when blending it out or you can go lightly back and forth with a very light hand, barely touching the lid, and then using circular motions once some of the product is off your brush. You just don't want this to go too high and become more dramatic than you had intended. Keep it fun on a refer 21. There is just something so satisfying when the brush and the shadow rhymes. <laughs> I'm applying this all over the lid. I'm not using it wet, I'm using it dry. But again, primer is not set. That was one dip into the shadow. Going in once more, and I'm gonna kinda bring it up just slightly into the crease. I'm going to tilt my head up so that I don't mind there being a little bit of a line with this look, but I still want to go just slightly up into the crease. Honesty on a refer number three. I'm applying this all underneath my lower lash line, kind of smoking it downward just a little bit. 
Going back in with Turtle Bay on a MAC 212, I'm going to stamp this right up against my lower lashes. I want to be a little bit more precise with this than I was with the last shade. On an ESIM W23, I'm taking aim high. Careful because this is pigmented. I picked up a small amount and it's still super pigmented, so just be careful. You can blend it out with your finger if you need to. But I like the pink undertone to this one. And you could use green mist as well if you wanted to stick more with that green scheme, like on the lid, like I did with the last look. Bristles Beauty PO6RF, shade and placing it on the inner corner. Lastly, I'm going to take Bravo on a refer number 23, and I'm going to work this right up against my top lash line. I don't want this to be too intense, too thick. I want it to be subtle, but give me a little extra something something at my lash line before I go add on inner rim liner and mascara. Moving on to look number three, I'm going in with Moon Landing on a Bristles Beauty EO2 RL. I'm going to be creating a quick, all matte, just halo eye. So I'm starting on the lower lid. No primer, or <laughs> I have primer, I just didn't set it. <laughs> After I get it laid down on the lower half, I'm gonna start blending upward. Slowly bringing this upward, but I'm not taking it uh, not too much into the center of the crease. Yes, I will have some color there, and I don't mind if, you know, a little bit blends over, but I don't want it to be focused on the center portion of the crease. Next, I'm going to tap it on the inner corner with my brush laid flat and then start blending this upward, just like I did on the outer half. Just not up quite as high. I'll be working back and forth, and clean up with a sponge as you need to, like if you go down just a little bit too far. I love cleaning up with a sponge. Sometimes I show it on camera, sometimes I do not. Same color on a Bristles Beauty pencil brush, and I am smudging this all along the lower lash line. Refer number 14, now I'm going to go in with the shade Relax, and I am going to deepen up the outer corner. I want this to be a little bit more on the grungier, but still softer, like I don't want it to be too dark. I could go in with one of the darker shades if I wanted this to be super dark, but I don't. I want it to look a little bit more grungy, but then with like this soft little pink in the center, there's just something about the combo that I really like. And as you can see, I'm bringing it over to the inner corner as well. Same shade once again on the Bristles Beauty pencil brush, just smudging that across the lower lash line. And then lastly, I'm taking Fairy Tale on a number 21. This is that cute pink. <laughs> I'm going to focus it on the center of the lid. And as you can see, this is very pigmented. I go up just a little bit and then start lightly tapping around the edges. And this just gives, I don't know, it's just so, it's so pretty to me. Gray and pink, I think is so pretty. It adds a little bit of femininity to the grungy look. I'm here for it. Then I'm going to go add on inner rim liner and mascara and call it a day. For today's look, I'm going to start off with Golden Rose on an Ikea Joy E12. I'm going to start packing this on the inner corner, the whole portion of the lid, bringing it upward. I feel like this is the perfect brush size. 
Oh, and if you were aware, when I did the Nikia Joy uh, review, this brush right here had a little bit of, um, it's like a little scratchy on the end. And I did just kind of clip the fibers just a tiny little bit. And now I have no issues at all. So I just wanted to update you guys on that. I'm taking this and I'm bringing it about three quarters of the way over into the crease and just making sure I really get it on the inner corner. I'm gonna pack on a little bit more. If you wanted this to be super intense, you could go in with it wet, but I really like these shades, how they look on their own. I don't feel like Sydney Gray shadows need to be used wet. That same exact shade on a BK Beauty 204. And I'm gonna blend that about halfway across my lower lash line. Another Nikia Joy brush E07, and I'm gonna take the shade Blushed. I'm gonna be packing this on the outer half of the lid, lightly over the lash shade. And bringing it up into the crease just a little bit. Same shade on a Bristles Beauty E05 PS. Now I'm going to take that and I'm going to finish out the other half of the lower lash line and mixing into Golden Rose. On a refer number 14, I'm taking Peyton's Puppy. This is the matte shade I was referring to. And I'm just gonna go all around the edges of those shades. I don't really wanna blend into them too much, just right on the edge of them. This is a super easy look to create. And then I'm gonna go right underneath the lower lash line just to help blend. Rover on a Mario E5. I'm going to take this and kind of stamp it right on the lower lash line outer corner. Don't want to use too much of this. I want to kind of blend it into the shades and then bring it up into the crease a little bit for some definition but I don't want it to be too dark because the shade can get dark. I'm making sure to kind of tap and blend that in because both of these shades are shimmer or metallic shades. It makes it much easier for the shade to lighten up a little bit. Aim high on a Lunar Beauty E4. Remember this one can be intense. So I'm going to start right at the brow arch, blend a little further outward, and then lightly blend it into the other shades. And then I'm placing that on the inner corner. And I will advise you to look away because I'm going to go ahead and put my inner rim liner on my top and lower lashes, just in case you don't like to see that. I have reverted back to my Marc Jacobs Blacker. There's a whole reason um, Milk is absolutely discontinuing my favorite, but um, yeah, so I'll be on a hunt. But for right now, I was using the Juvia's Place. I'll update you guys on what was going on with that. I like it, don't get me wrong. It lasts, it's black, it looks good. But I was having some issues. So I'm using this instead to line my inner rim. And then Milk's liner in BCC on the lower lash line before I go add on mascara. That is it, beauties. I hope you guys enjoyed. 
all of these looks. I just wanted to play, have some fun, and play in some colors that I'm really interested in. These colors are just like speaking to my soul right now. <laughs> Let me know what you think about the looks, about the curated little collection that I have going on here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.